The sights on it are just factory, which is pretty lame. The, the uh, magazine release button here is a lot uh, chunkier than on my last Glock, and I really, really like that. So the slide release is ambidextrous on both sides. The safety is ambidextrous on both sides. The Nintendo Zapper Ruger LCP, my Wolverine LCP2. This is a variant of the gun that John Wick used in John Wick 1. He used a P30L, so it's a little bit longer. But you can see the 38 Special along the top, and it looks like it did almost as much damage as the 38 Special, even though the bullet's only about half the size. Shoot her! Yes! For science. Ho <laughs> <laughs> oh ho! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to shoot a quick little video here of what I've been doing to my Uberti El Patron while I've been ill. I am adding uh, the Clint Eastwood man with no name snake grips to both sides of the gun. Uh, you can get these snake grips off of Amazon. Uh, I believe the name of the company that sells them is Straight Line Collectibles. They're also available on eBay or the Straight Line Collectibles website. The instructions are to drill holes in your grips. Use two pairs of pliers to gradually bend the snake into the contours of the grip and then glue it in place. I was very, very apprehensive about drilling holes in this thing, especially since there are many of them. If you look at the back of one of these, I've already cut them off and filed them down, which I'll explain why here in just a minute, but you can see that each one of these has five of them. One, two, three, four, and five. And there's just, there's just too much room for error um, I mean, all you got to do is w drill one hole incorrectly, and then the whole thing is screwed. You've basically lost your money as far as the grips go and the snakes. So it's like, uh, I didn't really want to do that. So, here's what I did do. As you can see by the back of this one over here, I cut off all five prongs and then filed them down using this little uh, mini filing kit here. I cut them off using... Uh, this uh, tin snip tool and then just file them down so that they're nice and smooth. Then I used the pliers over here and the cloth underneath. You want to put the cloth between the pliers and the snake grips so you're not damaging the snake grips. Even with these cloths uh, I had a couple of little scratches here. I don't know if they show up on camera or not. They are very small but yeah, you want to be very careful with that sort of thing. And then I just used the uh, Loctite glue here to glue it down. Waited about a half an hour. And then I turned the gun on its side and filled in all the cracks. Um, it came out pretty nicely. I just did this side yesterday. So I've waited about 24 hours for the glue to dry. And I just practiced my fast draw for about an hour and uh, that includes a little bit of gun spinning and all those sorts of things and uh, it's held up just fine um, let me see if I can get down here you can see that it sticks out above the grips just a little bit um, I guess if you got a gunsmith to like drill out some of the grips you could like inlay them into the grips and then you wouldn't have that but again that's a lot of money that we're talking about for you know, a $35 piece of metal. So this is what I opted to do. Uh, it didn't interfere with the gun spinning. It didn't interfere with the draw. So I am going to go ahead and be adding the second one. Uh, in my opinion, for a novice, this is probably the safest way to add these grips and the most practical because if you mess up, all you got to do is uh, take a little pocket knife and scrape it right off of there and you're probably not going to be damaging the grips or the snakes or any of that sort of thing. So if I get a gun in the future, I can probably just take these suckers right off and put them onto the new gun. So anyway, um, 
there are a couple of other videos out there on YouTube regarding these little snake grips. Uh, not a whole lot regarding installation. And I just kind of did my own thing on this one because I was too scared to drill holes into the nice grips that I already had on this gun. So anyway, that's what I opted to do, and it seems to have worked out very well for me. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd shoot a little video and show how I did that. So, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day. Thank you.